In this video, we'll see how to use Euler's method to solve ordinary differential equations. We'll first calculate Euler's method by hand, and then see how to implement Euler's method in R. Finally, we'll calculate Euler's method for a system of two differential equations. Euler's method is a numerical method for solving ordinary differential equations. Functions in software tools that solve ordinary differential equations are usually based on Euler's method. Let's see how the method works based on a simple example. Suppose that we drink a cup of coffee that contains 70 mg of caffeine. We therefore assume that at time point zero, we have 70 mg of caffeine in our body. In this example, we assume that the decay rate is 0.2 per hour, which means that approximately 20% of caffeine molecules are eliminated from the body every hour. The amount of caffeine in the body over time can be modeled by a simple ordinary differential equation for exponential decay. To solve this equation numerically, we can use Euler's method. Remember that ordinary differential equations involve continuous time. However, Euler's method is a numerical method based on discrete time steps. We therefore change the notation dy dt to delta y delta t, which indicates that the time is now discrete and not continuous. Let's move delta t to the right hand side, so that we have the following equation. Delta y represents how much y changes or how much the amount of caffeine changes, or time step. We can rewrite delta y like this, where y sub i represents the value of y at the current time step, whereas y sub i plus 1 represents the value of y at the next time step. If we move this term to the right hand side, we will have the following equation, which can be used to numerically solve the differential equation. For simplicity, we will here use a time step of 1 hour, which means that we set delta t to 1. We will now use this equation to calculate how the amount of caffeine changes over time with a time step of 1 hour. We know that y is equal to 70 at time point 0. To denote that we start at time point 0, we set i to 0 which means that we set y0 to 70 in this equation. We also know that k should be equal to 0 0.2 and that delta t should be equal to 1. If we begin the numbers in the equation and do the math, we see that the value of y after one time step has been reduced from 70 to 56. To represent this change in the graph, we draw this arrow that represents that the amount of caffeine is reduced from 70 to 56 after the first hour. Then we calculate the value of y for the next time step, where we see that the value of y decreases from 56 to 44.8. Note that the only thing that has changed in the equation is that we use the value of y from the current time point when we calculate the y value for the next time point. Then we calculate the y value at time point 3, time point 4, time point 5, and time point 6, and so forth. This is how you solve a differential equation with Euler's method. But it would be nice if you could instead use a computer to do these calculations. I will here show how to compute Euler's method by using simple code in R, which is a free software tool that you can download from the following website. After you have installed R, I recommend that you also install RStudio, which extends the basic R version with a lot more tools. Once you open RStudio, it will look something like this. We should first open a new script in RStudio. We then enter the code in this script. In the script, we start to save the numbers of the initial value, decay rate and step size into objects. Then we create the vector with the time points, which starts with the value 0, 
decreases with a time step of 1, since we have set dt to 1, and ends at 6. When we run this code, t will be equal to a sequence of numbers from 0 to 6. To compute the same thing as we did before, we write these lines of code. Then we save all the y values in a vector that we call y. And then we make a plot that shows how y changes over time. To run the code, we select the code and press run. The plot will be shown down here. Suppose that we like to calculate the y values for instead 100 time points. We will then need 100 lines of code, which would take a lot of time to write. A better alternative is to use a loop, where the code between the curly brackets will be repeated. i is here a counter that starts at 1 and will be increased by 1 for every iteration until it is equal to 6, which is the length of vector t, minus 1. Note that this line of code represents the equation we used previously. To check how accurate our numerical solution is, we can compare it with the following analytic solution of the differential equation, which is plotted by a red curve. Ok, so once we have entered the code, you can run the lines that you would like to execute like this. And once you have done that, you will have t as a vector that we can print and we can see that these numbers goes from 0 to 6 and then we can run Euler's method with this piece of code and we can also see what's in the output of y so this is the caffeine uh, amount of caffeine at time point 0, time point 1, 2, 3 and up to 6 hours and then we can plot what we have in y versus t like this but we can of course simulate longer than 6 hours so if I change this to 40, whole thing again, I get the curve like this. So now we can compare this numeric solution with the analytic solution, which is this equation that you see here. And we can see that there is a difference between the red curve and the blue curve. And that is due to that we use a quite big step size. So if you change this to 0 0.01, for example, we see that they overlap completely here. So when you use Euler's method, you have to use a small step size in order to get accurate output. We will now use Euler's method to calculate the amount of drug in the blood with a system of ordinary differential equations. Suppose that you take a pill. The pill will enter your gut immediately. Then, it will be absorbed into the blood, and once it enters the blood, it will be effective. The drug molecules will then be eliminated over time in the blood, and eventually leave the body. The following differential equation can be used to describe how the amount of drug is changing over time in the gut. Suppose that we take a drug of 70 mg, which means that the initial amount in the gut will be 70. The absorption rate is here 0 0.5, which means that approximately 50% of the drug molecules will move from the gut to the blood every hour. Watch the video about exponential growth to understand why I say approximately to interpret the coefficient. The absorption is modeled like this, where molecules go from the gut to the blood. Finally, molecules in the blood are eliminated at the rate of 0 0.2 per hour, which means that approximately 20% of the molecules in the blood are eliminated per hour. To solve this system with Euler's method, we create a set of discrete equations as we did previously. Note that these terms correspond to these. Then we plug in the numbers and do the math. Then we update the numbers and calculate again, and again, and so forth.
In the next lecture, I will show how to use the R package DESOL, which includes more advanced numerical methods than Euler's method. Then you do not need to worry about using an appropriate step size. This was the end of this lecture about Euler's method. Thanks for watching.